once again, I'm out here. I've got fire going, you know, controlled fire somewhere. Lovely. And ordered the uh, rebuild kit for that, and then I had one of those random hang on a minute thoughts. Go back here. Now, that's the stuff I got for the Ryobi. Yeah, so that's one of the carburetors, and I had a thought about the pump diaphragms in there. Are they any different to the ones that go on the carburetor on there, which presently is in my bag of stuff? Oh, and there's a little preview of the uh, Ryobi head stringer. So, I'm going to take this apart, I'm going to have a look, see what the what is. And I've also got bits in here which I could use to compare it with, but... Yeah, yeah we'll see. And yes, I've never used that. <laughs> Looks completely ridiculous. Imagine it on there. Oh god, that looks silly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, what I was referring to as the rice parts. But anyway, enough about that, I need more light. And I have more light, and I need to move that again. Right, so, I'm going to get all my bits and pieces out, and I'm going to get on with stuff. Alright, so here we have two seemingly different carburetors. Now, this is not like being any sim any anything scientific or anything. Uh, I'm just going to pull them apart and see if there's any similarities between one and the other to try and swap the things around. What the heck does this screw do? Huh? Huh. Oh yeah, I think I remember that. I think it's stripped out. I looked closely at the inside of that squeezy bulb and there are some cracks starting to form in the, uh, the outside of it so I may as well just replace it. So if those are the same size I may as well just play swapsies. So, yeah. Any morning twat. I'm out here early again. Technically speaking it's exact about the same time as yesterday morning. You know, because I was out here about one and a half, seven in the morning. And based upon the orbit of the Earth and the position of the Sun in the sky, it is the same time. But according to the government mandated British summer time, also known as daylight savings time in other countries, it's now half past eight in the morning. Even though it's the same time. Yeah, can you tell I don't particularly have any fondness for stupid bloody clock switching things? So, that I think already looks wrong. Oops. Yeah, I'll just pull this up. I'll just pull this wall barrel apart. My voice just broke then. So initially the bottom parts do look the same. Mm, so all in all, those kind of do look a bit similar, but nah, not gonna bother. Now the squeeze bulb. Do you fit in here? Well, they look about the same size, so... Yeah, that's alright. Although it does look a bit hazy on the inside. Clean it out just like your ear hole. Lovely. Show that back on there. And put it all back together and wait for my uh, rebuild kit to arrive, so... So I sod all this, um, I'm going to uh, just put it back together, leave this for now, wait till the kit arrives and go from there. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Looks stupid. Well, it's a good aftermarket filter at least, if we've got one like, in black, but um, no. Well, I've put that carburetor back on there just temporarily to store it where it belongs and... I'm going to just put it away until the uh, it arrives. So, oh, there you go. Right. So, what am I going to do next? I don't know. Do you know I think I'm going to pull all the stuff out of that box so you can see the jigsaw of Ryobi and the potential project, whether I want to or not. So, this is the Ryobi jigsaw. I don't know if all of the parts are actually here or not, or if there's some left out in my other shed. 
this is pretty much most of it. I mean, the engine's over there, blades in here. I mean, I'll show you what I mean about the blades. Okay, that happened. Right, place that on there. Yeah. Ryobi blades. They could chop my finger off. These could probably chop a hair. And of course, Ryobi blades are much longer. So that's kind of why I want to get this one working. Now the crap latch. Excuse me, whilst I just pick all that up. Right, so now interruptions are sorted out. This is where the problem lies. All that corrosion. Now, granted it's been sat in my other shed for a couple of years now, but I mean, look at that. It's, um, yeah, this is kind of why I'm not too sure whether I want to rebuild this, because this whole thing, because this is the underside, and well, that's the other part, again, corrosion all along there, around the around the uh, brass bearing, or bronze bearing even. Now this apparently was all sat in water, like sat on the ground in water in a puddle. And of course all the, the grease that was in there kind of didn't protect it all, it kind of had an electrolytic effect between different metals and all that and resulted in this. And this is why I'm not entirely sure about repairing it. I mean, look at that. It's like the surface of the moon. Hmm. So, like I say, I'm not entirely sure whether I want to actually turn this into a rebuild project or I'll just scrap it. Because something goes wrong with this and that blade suddenly comes loose and flies off and starts chopping fingers off. It's not going to be a good time. Now I know there's people who are probably saying, oh you're a fucking wuss. It's like, yeah, okay, I am. But I'd rather be a wuss with fingers than a stupid person without. This thing is really useful. The other thing that was wrong with it, this is the, the bearing which sits in there, which I believe that goes up to where the clutch is on the engine. See, that's the, the clutch bell, so the bearing goes on there, and that sits in, in there on that bearing, but as you can see, that bearing is done. Completely rusted out, rotten, useless. Now, I probably could get a replacement for that quite easily, because if I clean off this seal ring, it says... Go on, put your hand behind it. It says 6003RS. So I think that's probably just a generic part number. Yeah, I mean, look at all that grease. And that's not from my leaving it. That was actually genuinely like that when I pulled it off. So that's one other thing. Another thing, the gasket. That was going to be being completely and utterly ruined. Once again, hand behind it. Um, yeah, water damage, pulling it apart hasn't done it any favours, and yeah, all this oxide from the uh, from the material, which I'm guessing is like a magnesium aluminium stuff, mal amalgam even. Um, trying to scrub a bit off, but yeah, it's not coming off, so that would either have to be replaced or one made at home. So, the engine, I'm, I have no doubt that would run, because with the spark plug in it, it has excellent compression. But I don't really want to try it without anything on the bottom, because on the bottom is the, uh, the clutch. And those parts are supposed to you know, splay out, and if there's nothing there to you know, stop them you know, splaying out too far, they might just fly off, and that hurt, I'm sure. Or they, you know, they probably go through the ceiling. And I don't need any more holes in this roof. Uh, there's all the, the bits and pieces, and they start rusting. So they need uh, wire wooling. Uh, so, yes. 
Should this be a project? I really don't know. I'm not asking the YouTube audience whether I want this to be the project on Otacus. This is my decision, my decision only. So it's something for me to think about. I'd like to have it working because, like I say, I want this length of bar. Uh, actually, there's another thing to look at. I never cleaned off the uh, the ends of these, and that's that's what it was like inside of that transmission case. Yeah, all that gook. I mean, that's a combination of grease, dirt, water, corrosion. I mean, so far these bars actually seem to be in good condition, but overall, it's. It's a fairly major restoration for something that I could probably pick up off eBay for 30, 40 quid, if I had the money. So, what do I do with this? Well, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all back in that box, so it's out of the way. I might just have a poke around that engine just to uh, have a look at it, because I'm just having a random thought what are the mounting points like that. Random thought. Random, random thought. Now they're in all the square. What about him? That down there. The old Pina. No, they're all square, aren't they? Damn it. No, I was thinking if they were in the same bolt pattern, I could try it on one of them, but no, this engine's obviously designed for something specific. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to call the end of the video here. You know, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you want to leave a comment, down below. And if you want to subscribe, the little thingy will pop up somewhere around here at the end. So, until next time, thanks for watching and bye.